Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, back again with another field test. And uh, let me just make sure I'm in alignment here. I did. Uh, I've changed. I've changed the lens out. And I'm trying to see if I'm if I'm in good alignment here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I was gonna get in the shade, but it's gonna be too dark. So, yep. So within this video, what we're gonna do. You can see the, well, I don't know how you can see in this video, but the trees are whipping around a little bit. There's some wind. So I'm gonna do another wind test with the Mavic Air 2. We're gonna see how well or how poorly this handles the wind. So without further ado, let me go ahead and on my device here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set things up for this. This video is in 4K Ultra HD. So if you've got a compatible monitor or display, be sure to crank it up. Go ahead and pop this puppy out of the out of this out of the pack here out of the case super simple something i really love about the uh the mavic air 2 is just how easy it is to pop up and go always remember do your front first and then do your rear don't forget your camera protector because if you do that <laughs> it could be catastrophic it could damage your gam uh, gimbal and or create other problems. So let's go ahead and take this over here. I'm gonna pop my sticks on. Make sure I got my sticks. I love this new controller. If you've checked out my other videos for the Mavic Air 2, I mean, this new controller in itself is good enough reason to uh, to pick up the Mavic Air 2, in my opinion. Just so strange, I mean, so well designed. Boom, just pop it out, pop your phone in. Didn't even have to take my case off of my phone. Wonderful. Gonna power on the controller. Always power your controller on first and then your drone. And remember, your Mavic Air 2 is using DJI Fly app. So if you've got old DJI apps, you know, at least at the time of posting this, it's not going to work. you got to use DJI Fly app. Something I always do is, uh, is you know, I've got everything downloaded, so I'm going to erase my micro SD card. Don't want to run out of space. You can find the drone, the micro SD card, the case, everything that I use. Just expand this video's description and then click the link there. If you can't find it, shoot me a message and I'll be happy to uh, find a link for you. I'm going to do this video in 4K 30 HDR. That's 4K 30 high dynamic range. I'm going to press record. We're recording. 4K 30 HDR. I'm going to take off. Take off. Things are super smooth so far. We're gonna go over here so you can see the wind blowing the trees. We've got, I don't know, wind about uh, 12 knots. You know, nothing, nothing too intense, but you can see the trees waving in the wind. But taking my hands off of the stick, you can see how well the drone is handling the wind. I mean, granted, you know, this isn't a ton of wind, but it's just, uh, it's an awesome drone. Handles wind really well. I'm flying in normal mode. Man, there's a, and I'm in a safe and responsible location, obviously. There's an airplane up there, probably 30,000 feet or so. Um, I would hate to be on an airplane right now, man, with all this stuff going around. Ugh. 
Can you imagine? Not a good experience. You know, as I'd mentioned previously, travel for Our Skies Adventure Channel has been suspended until further notice. So, you know, hopefully all this stuff will go away and I'll be able to get back, uh, get back out in a bunch of different places with, with the drone. But, you know, safety is first and safety comes first rather. And until this stuff is clear, travel has been suspended for Our Skies Adventure Channel. So yeah, this thing's handling wind like a champ. Just wanted to do a quick wind test. I know the last time I did one, a thunderstorm kicked up and I didn't really get to finish it like I wanted to because I had to, well, my camera gear is not waterproof and neither is the drone, so. Um, so that's a wind test. I mean, this thing, you know, as one might expect, handles it really well. I wouldn't expect anything. Oh, there's, there's a gust right now. Look at the tree above me. See the trees, boy? I'm gonna take my hands off the stick. See, it's blowing, but the drone is not fluctuating. So that's a testament to the quality of the Mavic Air 2. I mean, being so small and so lightweight, it's still able to handle a decent amount of wind. So there you have it. Mavic Air 2 wind test, and I'm gonna bring it down with the wind still gusting. We're gonna land it here. inside the circle. I'm gonna stop recording. So yeah, Mavic Air 2 does a really good job in the wind. Again, you know, be safe and responsible. If there's strong wind, obviously don't fly a drone or don't fly anything if there's strong wind. But yeah, I mean, with that being said, it handled itself well. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash guy, And expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order the Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Pro, all the other drones, all the accessories. And if you can't find what you're looking for, just drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to try to find a link for you. Thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day